this video, I would like to talk about complementary events. Complementary event is a very powerful and useful idea in probability. So let's say I have an event A. So I will just write event A and then the complement of event A. So complement. The complement of event A, how do we write that? So here is how we write that. We write AC. The big C stands for complement. The superscript C stands for complement. So some textbook they don't use C, they use an apostrophe. So that also stands for complement. But this one I don't really like it. I don't like using apostrophe because uh, apostrophe like what what does that mean? Complement starts with a C, right? If you say A C, all right, I got you. I know what it is. C stands for complement. So what is complement? The complement means not. So complement means not that means the word not so let's say the pub event a the probability of event a means the probability of pass passing a test and then what about a complement a complement that means probability of not pass right so let's say i want to find the probability of passing but this probability is very difficult to find. This one is very difficult to find. Just assume the problem is hard. I want to find that probability, but the probability is very difficult to find. How do I use complementary event to find this probability without using too much effort? All right. So usually in this scenario, the probability of passing is extremely difficult to find. It takes you 10 hours do a lot of work to find out what that probability is, but it only take you two seconds or maybe 10 seconds to find the probability of not pass. So let's say the probability of not passing is 0 0.40. So which, which plan do you prefer to use? Do you want to spend 10 hours to find this probability or you want to spend 10 seconds to find this probability? My choice is I will spend 10 seconds to find the probability of the complement, which is C equals to 0 0.40, then how do I find the probability of passing? It's easy. All you have to do is you take the sum, which is 1, subtract the probability of not passing, that equals to the probability of passing, 0 0.60. So I just saved you 10 hours. So you don't need to waste 10 hours to find this 0 0.6. So probability of A is extremely difficult to find. You have to spend a lot of time to find it. However, on the, other, on the other hand, the complement is easy to find. So why don't you just find the complement? And then however, you are not looking for a complement, you are looking for the event A. All right, so why don't you take one, subtract the complement, then you get the probability of the event that you are looking for. Here is one other way to think about complement. So let's say um, I have uh, four letters, A, B, C and D. Each letter stands for one item. So here is what I'm trying to do. I want to grab A, B and C. So there are two ways to do it. Listen, I have four items on my table. Each item is represented by a letter A, B, C, D. So I have four items. What I am trying to do right now is I want to get the first three items A, B and C. There are two ways to do it. The first way is you just grab these three items and then you are ready to go. So that is the first way to do it. The second way to do it is you want A, B and C, right? You don't want D. Fine. Pick this up, throw it away, then you get your A, B and C. So the second way is complement. So let's do, do this again. So the first way to do it is you grab A, B and C and then you walk away. Done. Job done. And then the second way is you want A, B, and C, right? You hate D, you don't want D. So D is the item that you don't want, fine. Pick it up, throw it to the garbage can, then there you go, job is done. I have my A, B, and C. So the second way is complement. You take, you have everything, which is one, and then you take out what you don't want, which is you don't want 0 0.4. So one is everything. You take out the 0 0.4, then the leftover is everything you want. So you don't want D, fine. You take one, subtract the D, throw it away, and then the leftovers are everything you want. So that is the idea of complementary event. So based on this, I can give you three probabilities. So A and AC. So here is how the complement and its event and its complement works. So we have PA, P 
plus its complement is that is equals to one. So if you take one minus the probability of a, then you get the complement. If you take a uh, one subtract the complement, you get um event a just like 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 that equals to 1, 1 minus 0 0.6 equals to 0 0.4, 1 minus 0 0.4 that is equals to 0 0.6. And then uh, let's talk about this using a Venn diagram. So Venn diagram, switch color, Venn diagram. So Venn diagram is named after a English logician called John Venn. It's name after his last name John Wen. So here is how the Venn diagram works. So we have a sample space. Sample space means this rectangle. So this is my sample space, everything. And then the event A, I have a circle. I call this a event A. And then outside of the circle, I have AC. So event A back to my problem, event A is passing, right? 60 and then not passing is 40%. So 60 plus 40 equals to 100%. If you want uh, AC, fine, you take the entire rectangle, you take this A out, you take this A out, then you get your AC. If you want uh, the A, another way to do it is you have the entire rectangle, you take the AC out, then you get the A. So that's how we, I explain Venn diagram using uh, you explain complementary event using a Venn diagram. Let's look at an example. So I want to discuss two simple examples. So the first one is let's say the pop you are going to work every day, right? So let's say the probability that you are late to work is five percent or zero point zero five. What is the probability that you will be on time to work? So when you think about this. Every time you go to work, you are trying to go to your office, right? Either you are late or you are on time, right? Can you be late and on time at the same time? No. When you take a class, can you be success and f can you pass and no not pass at the same time? No, right? You take a class, you get either one result, either pass or you don't pass. You cannot say I pass and not pass at the same time. You flip a coin. You either get a head or a tail, right? Can you get a head and a tail at the same time? No. So back to this problem, either you are late or you are on time. So late is 5%. What is the opposite of late? The opposite of late is not late. So which is what? Which is 1 or 100% minus 0 0.05 that equals to 0 0.95. So that is the probability that you are on time to work using a quick Venn diagram. So this stands for the sample space. And then late to work is 5%. And then outside the 5%, we have a 95%. So the circle plus the rest of the area, they are equal to the sample space, which is 100%, right? So number two, let's say you are an uh, inspector. You are checking defective products. So let's say the probability that the defective rate is 12%. In a warehouse, there are many, 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 many products, all right? The defective rate is 12%. That means 12% of the products, they are defective. So now, my question is, you select a product randomly. What is the probability that the product is not defective? Think about this. A product is either defective or not defective, right? You turn on a machine. The machine is either working or not working. You start a car. The engine is either working or not working. You turn on your phone. Your phone is either on or off. It's either working or not working, right? Just like a coin, either one side or the other. So the opposite of defective is not defective. So this one uh, is 0.12. So I will take 1 minus 0 0.12. That equals to 0 0.88. And then using a Venn diagram, so we have a defective. Defective is 12%. And then outside of the 12%, we have 88%, 12 plus 88, that equals to the entire sample space. So that is how, compre uh, how complementary event works. All right, so that will be the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate your help really, really much. I see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.